It sounds like Jaclyn Cosmetics is officially done and closing down. At least that's what fans think is the case based on the subtle hints Jaclyn dropped in her recent video. There's been a lot of drama surrounding the brand since its launch, and this year the brand had a lot of eyes on it as it became clear Jaclyn Cosmetics was owned by Forma, who also owns Morphe, and when they filed for bankruptcy, everything was getting exposed. For years, Jaclyn had put CEO in her bio on Instagram, but documents were revealing that she was not the CEO of Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, even though she had doubled down several times, even tweeting out once, saying, I am the owner, founder, and CEO of Jaclyn Cosmetics. The documents coming out reveal the names of those formerly involved in the company, and we can see the former CEO, CFO, CAO, and Jaclyn's name wasn't listed anywhere. Now, it seems like Jaclyn's title at Jaclyn Cosmetics was simply just a collaborator and or a licensor. Like, they basically just paid her for using her name and her face for the brand to make it profitable instead of just calling it something related to Morphe. In the documents that were released following the bankruptcy, creditors who Jaclyn Cosmetics paid within the last 90 days of filing bankruptcy were made public, and we can see here that Jaclyn Hill LLC, which is just Jaclyn, was paid three times, adding up to almost $500,000, and she's listed as just a collaborator and or licensor. There's just been so much confusion surrounding this brand, and Jaclyn hasn't talked about it too much, which has been a big reason as to why fans are so confused. She hasn't talked about the bankruptcy, she hasn't talked much about the future of the brand, it's all seemed very up in the air. And I'm guessing that she probably can't talk about what's going on legally, but I think just saying, hey guys, I know you see what's come out and it's been a lot that's been going on. I can't really talk about it. I wish I could. I mean, even something as simple as that would go a long way, I think. One of the biggest things about being an influencer is trying to be as open and honest with your audience. And I think in Jacqueline's case, a lot of people are just really confused with the way that there's a lot of public information about Jacqueline Cosmetics, yet she hasn't said anything. And the things that she has kind of said have been very subtle and just beating around the bush, which doesn't help at all. And there's obviously been times where she's acted like nothing has been going on this year in a simple like, hey, I'll talk about it when I have the answers or I'm able to would certainly help her out, but it's still continuing to be a confusing situation surrounding Jacqueline Cosmetics because in Jacqueline's recent video, she basically hinted that Jacqueline Cosmetics would be shutting down because the way that she was talking about the products that she was using in the video, she was talking about they're going to be going away or she's going to be sad when it's gone. Like, what else does that mean other than the brand is done? I'm going to go in with the Jacqueline Cosmetics plush blush in plush pink and do two dots up towards the top of the cheekbone. I know that I created this blush and I'm gonna be sad to see it go, okay? I'm sad to see all of it go. This is a season of change and a season of growth and we're pulling up our big girl panties. We're doing what needs to be done. But I will say that this, I think, will forever be my favorite cream blush. The way it blurs out the skin is actually insane. Like it literally feels like a filter. She also said something similar later on in the video that she won't know what to do when she runs out of her favorite products of hers. My entire face, my favorite loose powders. These are both by Jaclyn Cosmetics, my mood light setting powder and my power move setting powder. I have enough of these to keep me stocked for like the next two or three years in my back stock. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna do after that because these are my favorite powders ever. So I'm just gonna take a giant brush and lightly tap. All signs pointed to Jaclyn Cosmetics being no more, but this was not something she's full on said to her viewers. The only thing that she said about any brand's closing has been in her video talking about Cozy and Jacqueline Roxanne closing. It's taken me a while to get to the place to have the confidence and the vulnerability to sit down and have this conversation with you guys. But I wanna talk to you about what's been going on in my personal life and behind the scenes of the camera that has led to me making the decision on my own to shut down both Jacqueline Roxanne Jewelry and my cozy comfort line. And in the video announcing that they were closing, she made it seem like she was going to be closing them and focusing on makeup because that's where her heart was. I love jewelry and I love my jewelry. Look, I'm wearing it all right now. Like I'm proud of it. Cozy right here. Literally, I've got my blanket with me at all times. Softest blanket ever, love it. I love it, I'm proud of it, but I'm not excited about it. And that's the thing, it's like, I get excited over cosmetics, I'm not excited over these things. And I kind of had this like aha moment recently where I'm like, 
I don't wanna be known as the cozy girl. I don't wanna be known as the blanket girl. I don't wanna be known as the jewelry girl. Like that's not supposed to be my legacy. My legacy was supposed to be cosmetics. That's what I've loved since I was a kid. Like that was my original dream was something in the makeup creative space. And at this time of my life, I just wanna get back to that. That's just what I desire. So when everyone saw this video, they were like, wait, you never said that Jaclyn Cosmetics was going to close as well. And so a ton of people were in the comments writing saying, at Jaclyn Hill, I think I might've missed something, but you mentioned that you didn't know what you would do once your backup of powders are gone and same with your blush. Is your cosmetics brand being closed down as well? Glad I'm not the only one confused about her products going away. I thought she was only closing the other two brands. Yeah, I'm confused as well. Is she closing her cosmetics brand? Did I miss that you announced you were closing your cosmetics brand? I thought it was just the jewelry line. People on Instagram also had something to say, writing, are you gonna stop your makeup line? All your makeup is gonna be gone and we cannot buy it. It sounded like that in your latest YouTube video. Please, I need answers. Wait, is the brand closing? In her YouTube video, Jacqueline said she only closes the jewelry and cozy brand. Is your brand closing in your YouTube video today? It sounded like the cosmetics brand was closing also. Is Jacqueline Cosmetics closing down the brand? Jacqueline mentioned it in passing on her latest Get Ready With Me video. So obviously fans are confused. And the last time she mentioned Jacqueline Cosmetics was in the video where she said that her brands, Jacqueline, Roxanne, and Cozy were shutting down. And she said she didn't know the future of Jacqueline Cosmetics since she claimed to have done the bare minimum for the brand. She didn't know where it was going to go, but she didn't say it was closing, just that she wasn't sure about the future. But I guess maybe now she knows. As for Jacqueline Cosmetics goes, honestly, you guys, I don't know the future of my brand. I really don't. I mean, because of everything that I've said to you this entire video, I really don't know. I mean, I just, I really stepped away and I really just did the bare minimum and I was given such an incredible opportunity to be in Ulta stores and I've done the bare minimum supporting my brand in Ulta, which is crazy because that's literally my dream. I could just cry over this and I didn't, I haven't even given that relationship, the love that it deserves because I just felt like such a failure. Even though Ulta believed in me, I didn't believe in myself. How crazy is that? Um, so at this point, I don't know what's gonna happen with Jacqueline Cosmetics because of the decisions that I've made, because of the fact that I did the bare minimum. I thought that there was a chance that in form of filing for bankruptcy, maybe Jacqueline would be able to get control of the brand or something and she would put all her focus into it since she closed all her other brands. I mean, I think that's what a lot of people might have assumed to be the case because she wasn't exactly saying it was shutting down and she kept saying she loves cosmetics. But I guess it just didn't work out and who knows if we'll ever find out from Jacqueline the whys and what happens. But fans are certainly left in the dark about this one, at least for now, since she isn't being super clear. But that's just how it goes every time she's talking about Jacqueline Cosmetics. It's never straightforward. The information is always just so, I don't know, like something about it is just not feeling very transparent. Even though all the information had come out about the bankruptcy and the fact that she wasn't the CEO. but. She she had been saying that she was and even in this video she was lightly trying to say that she had kind of handed over control to other people after the lipstick launch but she never was fully like i didn't actually own my brand so after my lipstick launch happened and things obviously did not go as planned i honestly became zombie like i did the absolute bare minimum as a founder and ceo i just relied on my team to just kind of like float me through everything. I fell into such a depression. But I mean, I suppose we can't be surprised if it really is done because she did say in the same video that being a brand owner is just not for her. It's not something she enjoys. So to see all of her brands go, including Jaclyn Cosmetics, I guess we can't be too shocked. I don't really want to be a brand owner. I know that so many people thrive doing that. There's people and personalities out there that like, like a Kim Kardashian, like, I think that's what makes them happy is like just to like create more and more brands. And for me, that's not it. Like it really is just so crazy how confusing it all is and how it's just not super clear. I wonder why that is or why she can't even just say that she can't talk about it. Clearly people are picking up on the hints, but it only leads to more noise and confusion. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this. The fact that Jacqueline Cosmetics sounds done based on what she said. Do you guys think that she is hinting that it is over? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.